first song is going to be a song called uh, What's Your Name? It's our uh, current single out on Texas Radio right now, a song that I wrote um, over the past few years. It was on our last uh, record, uh, self-entitled, Jake Flint. Just a couple of hours ago, the singer said his vows to his wife and now disaster has struck. And while the report is that he might have just slumped and died, it seems there's a lot more about the details of his death that the media outlets did not cover. Well, more details have come out about what might have led to his death and that's what we'll be focusing on today. At first, when the news broke, most people thought it to be somewhat untrue, and rightfully so because he had been all over the media just a couple of hours earlier. However, things got a lot clearer when it was established by trusted sources that he had indeed died. For those who don't know, Jake was a country music singer who hailed from Oklahoma, where he was best known for his red dirt subgenre of country tunes. His first introduction to music came at his father's request. After Jake's dad was diagnosed with ALS, he asked friends to teach his son to play guitar. In addition to his career as a professional musician, the Cowtown singer appeared to enjoy a life filled with his wife, friends, dog, and a good beer based on his social media accounts. But all of that came to an abrupt end a few hours ago, when the What's Your Name? artist, who is best known for his music in the Oklahoma red dirt scene, died in his sleep, his publicist, Cliff Doyle, told The Oklahoman on Monday, November 28. The announcement came after Jake's manager, Brenda Klein, announced his passing in a social media post. With a broken heart and in deep grief, I must announce that Jake Flint has tragically passed away, Klein wrote. I've tried several times today to make a post, but you can't comment on what you can't process. But what makes this whole story even worse is that the disaster occurred only hours after the singer's wedding. That's right, Jake and Brenda were exchanging wedding vows at a remote homestead between Claremore and Owasso near Tulsa on Saturday night. But hours later, the groom tragically died in his sleep, the Oklahoman reported. On Tuesday, the heartsick bride wrote, We should be going through wedding photos, but instead, I have to pick out clothes to bury my husband in. People aren't meant to feel this much pain, Brenda said, and my heart is gone and I just really need him to come back. I can't take much more. I need him here. Although there had been a lot of possible theories about what could have led to the singer's demise, but so far there hasn't been any official report yet on the specific cause of his death. However, some people on social media seem to have an idea about some of the circumstances surrounding his death, like this user who wrote, I'm a pureblood. I blame the media, government, and big pharmaceutical co, doctors and nurses and social media who remove content about the truth. Regardless of whether or not that is true, all we can say is may his soul rest in peace. That's it for this video, goodbye.